Hi, I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel. Today here with Stephen Borrega, the president of Romeo's Gold uh, on the uh, TSX Venture Exchange with the ticker symbol RG. How are you today, Steve? I'm great, Chris. How are you doing? Great. So uh, Romeo's, it's a, it's a small cap company with some big cap projects. Uh, each one of the Sorry. projects you have uh, could be a company builder on its own. Um, recently, uh, you've got a project in Ontario, BC, and Nevada, or projects. Uh, uh, let's start off with Ontario, as you had some recent news. Uh, can you just quickly go over that project? Absolutely. Uh, you know, I just joined the team uh, six weeks ago, Chris. So I've been uh, I've been learning a lot about these assets and over the past uh, past time. And I can't believe the, the quality of assets that have been accumulated in the, the Romeo's portfolio. I think Tom Drevis has done an exceptional job over the past 26 years <laughs> in accumulating assets. And uh, as president, I've been brought on to decide to prior, how to prioritize and what we're going to do with these three core groupings of claims. So as you mentioned, uh, on Monday, we did have an announcement. Uh, we just completed a drill program of just under 2,000 meters on the Lundmark Cacao Lake project. It's an interesting setting. I mean, this is, this is where the Newmont's giant muscle white mine is located. That's a, a producer of over 6 million ounces of past production and reserves. And you know, they've been operating since 1997 and producing about 250,000 ounces of gold per year. And we actually staked over 11 kilometers of the same band in iron formation that hosts the muscle white, uh, muscle white mine, and that, which is about 13 kilometers due south. But we've had it for a long time. This is one of these assets. We've been sitting on it. We've, been, we've, we've held those claims since 1998, 99. And uh, most recently, been 2016, 2019, is when we did a, a number of work programs. This most recent drill program, as I mentioned, uh, identified two new, uh, otherwise unknown, banded iron formations, which appear to be similar in nature to what the Muscle White Mine is, uh, is based on. So we're very excited. Lots more work to do here. You know, with the 2019 discovery of a variety of like gold and base metal mineralization in this, uh, in this area, we, we identified a large form of uh, feldspar porphyry and quartz feldspar porphyry dikes. And it's the largest cluster of such intrusions in the belt. And it likely indicates that we're dealing with a pretty significant felsic volcanic center. You know, we've got four different types of gold and base metal mineralizations all clustered in a one by one kilometer area. So we have three VMS targets and uh, our VMS style horizons, I'm sorry. And we've had high grade gold bearing quartz veins identified as well. You know, 8.6 grams of gold over 4.75 meter uh, vein. It's pretty exciting times. And, and that's, just, that's just the tip of the iceberg for the Ontario assets. And, and you did a recent summer drill program. When are you expecting the results? Uh, they're pending uh, four to six weeks minimum. Uh, they've just, we've literally just finished the program. So we've got some time before we'll be able to report on those results. Uh, that's great. And then your other project uh, in Canada is uh, towards uh, BC. It's uh, near Glore Creek in the Golden Triangle. What did you do this summer there? We did some, we did some work programs, some ground truthing programs on, uh, on the trek, as well as uh, some of the other areas I mean, we have 360 square kilometers of, uh, of claims in, in that area. And it's very interesting that we have got such a large package of, of claims that are intricately uh, intertwined with, with the Galore Creek. Some of their assets are within ours, ours within theirs. Uh, we've identified two copper gold porphyries to date. And uh, we think with the receding, uh, with receding snow and, and uh, an ice pack uh, at, the, at the trek south, it looks like we've identified a third as well. So we're, we're excited. Lots more work ne is needed, uh, but uh, we've, we've been working quite for, for many years on this area. In fact, we've already put close to uh, $15 million in the ground on, on work programs within the, the grouping of claims uh, in the Golden Triangle area. Now, don't you have a claim that there are a block under a JV that has some upcoming payments due? We do. We've uh, we've got a partnership with Enduro. Uh, they've they've taken on 436 square kilometers of our claims, to be exact, and uh, they have a final payment due to us uh, at the end of November. It's a million dollars and four more million shares of uh, of Enduro shares, 
uh, you know, they, they recently put out some great news and uh, I wish them all the best as uh, their success is our success. That's great. So, and then the, the final sort of major project in your company is some assets down in Nevada. And for, uh, you know, most uh, investors, they know Nevada is one of the largest gold producing areas in the world. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. And I think you've got a pretty, you had some, uh, I think reported some bonanza grade uh, from some mm. historical drills that you guys did a few years ago, but uh uh, are you circling back to that now that you're on board? We are. We are. Uh, we'll, we'll actually be doing some work in the coming months. Uh, you know, the Scosa property is a very intriguing story. Uh, past producer, as you mentioned, back in the 30s and 40s, they were pulling out uh, remarkable uh, grade gold. And at the end of the day, uh, they weren't actually putting, they weren't even processing it. They were taking it straight out and putting it directly in the vault. That was the <laughs> level of, you know, there's wow. there's re, there's reports of uh, of grades up to 1,200 ounces per ton that were being pulled out of this these 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 uh, off of these veins, and they only worked on five of the nine that we've identified to date. Now they've worked down to the 400 foot level. We know that within regionally speaking, typically it can go down it can go as deep as 12, 1,500 feet. So the last work we did on this pro on this property was actually back in 2006. It's been sitting dormant within our within the portfolio, and uh, I'm very excited by it. As you mentioned, we've had some bonanza grade uh, results. You know, uh, we had 3.35 meters of 180 grams per ton gold. Uh, we had two just under two meters of uh, 267 grams per ton gold. I mean, there is some exciting uh, results, but now we need to do the work. We need to better understand exactly what we're looking at, and we've actually further expanded the project. Um, in, in 2020, we, we staked additional land uh, because we had identified some uh, cinnabar vein systems at surface uh, ex that were exposed at surface just southeast of, of the current uh, Scosa mine site. So we're, we're you know, great pathfinder, and, uh, but we haven't done any work yet. So we've acquired the land, we've acquired the, 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 uh, the claims, but uh, now we need to get down there, do some more surface work. And uh, I, I'm looking forward to reporting more on uh, we, what we're looking at as far as the Nevada assets are concerned. That's great. Now, I know you're in the process of raising uh, a little bit of cash. Um, and you also seem to have a lot of you know, assay results and other results pending. But what can, you, um, what can investors look forward to you for sort of news or news flow or uh, you know, priorities over the next uh, sort, of, sort of say six months? I was brought on board with one goal in particular, and that's to identify the prioritization of, of these assets. I mean, that's really the focus for me right now. Over the next six months, we're going to decide what is going to be core to the company's success, prioritizing that. And then the other assets, we need to decide what we're going to do with those, whether it be uh, through a spin out, through a joint venture, uh, through partnership. We need to look at all the options that are available to us. We're going to be looking at all the neighbors in and around the various assets that we have to decide who we might be able to work with. And, uh, and as far as the small placement is concerned, uh, looks like we're, we're, we're well on our way to be fully subscribed and uh, should be closing in short order. Um, with that, along with the million dollars due to us from Enduro, uh, cash on hand and securities on hand, I think we're, we're you know, in a good financial position to get some additional work done on all three groupings of assets. And, uh, you know, a big focus of mine is going to be marketing and telling this story in a way that hasn't been done in, in, in some time. I think it's really important that we um, relaunch the story and, and reinvigorate the, the market to understand that we're sitting on exceptional assets uh, that, you know, as I, as I mentioned at the beginning, some of these assets have been on our books for north of 20 years now. And it's time to tell those stories. So I'm really looking forward to the next six and 12 months. Well, I think you do have, uh, you know, three great assets, uh, as I say, each one of them being a company maker. Uh, so I look forward to following your progress. Uh, and, and thank you for your time today. Um, it's Chris Thompson for Investor Intel. And today I was speaking with Stephen Borrega, who is the president of Romeo's Gold. Uh, ticker symbol is RG on the Toronto uh, Stock Exchange on the venture. Have a great day. Thanks so much, Chris. Have a great day.